everybody. My name is Kendra and I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Cowichan Branch of Vancouver Island Regional Library and I love Irish writers. I'm not sure if it's their tumultuous history that makes them so good but there are so many that I love and one that I've discovered quite recently is John Boyne and I think all of you out there will have heard of his most famous book, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, which, fun fact, as of 2021, that book has been on the New York Times top 10 bestsellers chart every single year since its publication in 2006. So I won't talk about that one today because you've all read it or seen the movie, I'm sure. Um, but these other books that I'm going to talk about, um, same thing, they have as their setting uh, a tragic, horrible event. Uh, the Boy in the Striped Pajamas, of course, is about the Holocaust. And if you've read it or seen the movie, you know that Boyne is a genius at taking a horrible situation but creating the most gripping, inspiring, sort of hopeful story with even a bit of humor in them. So the first one I came upon in a used bookstore, and yes, we carry it at the library, is The History of Loneliness. So The History of Loneliness as its backdrop, sounds horrible, the child abuse scandal of the Irish Catholic Church. Um, I was willing to, I was hesitant to pick it up, and I thought I'll just drop it if it gets in any way depressing or too tragic, but Boyne being the genius storyteller that he is, <clears throat> that theme is just sort of hovers in the background while telling an amazing story about Audrey Yates, the central character, an innocent and good man who is just dedicated to his calling as a priest. And it's about him and his family and um, it's inspiring and full of hope and it's it's not disturbing it's um, it is inspiring and makes you look at things differently and gives you hope that there are a lot of good people and a lot of good that we can do despite the horrible things that may happen in our past so the next book of John Boyne's that I read is The Absolutist. An absolutist is a, a person who refuses to aid war in any way. So it's not just that you refuse to fight, but you refuse to help with medical or in any way support war. So one of the characters in the book is an absolutist. Uh, the main character, however, is the man who loves the ab absolutist. And again, a major tragic world event as a backdrop, World War I, but you are not left with uh, a remembrance of the horrors of war after reading this book. You are left with feeling that Love can be so strong, it can endure almost anything, and you can sacrifice almost anything for it. Um, and the story is told in an amazingly interesting way. It goes back and forth between present day and the war. Um, the main character having traveled in the present day to see the sister of the man that he loved during the war. Um, and you know that he has a huge secret to tell and you're just kept in suspense until the very end as to what that secret is and to what the main character eventually does at the end of the story. An amazing, an amazing story. Um, and another book of John Boyne's that I read was The Heart's Invisible Furies. Um, this one probably has the most to do with, um, you know, John Boyne himself being uh, homosexual, uh, Irish, uh, grew up with, you know, some axes to grind because of those things. And this book probably deals the most with the oppression of the Irish Catholic Church. But again, humor, um, inspiration, incredible story of love and um, how that can lift you up and free you from a horrid past. Um, and again, the story is told in an amazing way. It, every chapter is seven years later in the main character's life, starting in the 1940s, 40s before he's even born. 
and then in Ireland and then uh, working its way to present day New York City. And again, you at the end, you feel the main character has risen above his oppressive past and found joy and freedom in his life. So John Boyne, the stories sound super heavy, but all of them have humor in them and an inspiring message of the good that is in people. Um, and most importantly, the stories are just incredibly told fictional stories that stay with you and um, move you to look at the world in a different way. And isn't that what the best fiction should do? So I encourage you to try John Boyne. Thank you.